Hello, my name is George W. Jones, Director of Fine Arts for the Garland Independent School District, and welcome to another edition of Spotlight on the Arts. We begin our program by looking at a community art project that took place earlier this year. Fine Arts Coordinator David Sanders will tell us more about it. Thanks, George. For the second year in a row now, Veritex Bank has invited Garland ISD students to participate in their Wheels of Hope car show. The car show raises money for the Hope Clinic, which serves many students and families in Garland ISD. This year, art teachers at Hudson Middle School, Kenneth Pruitt and Laura Long, worked with other teachers across the district and students to create a mural that hung on Main Street during the car show. Well, I'm one of the art teachers here at, at Hudson, and Mr. Sanders was my mentor at this school. And when he was promoted and went on to the district office, uh, he was asked if we would be willing to come up with a mural for the Heritage Celebration in downtown Garland in April. So we started thinking about what we wanted to do. Uh, Mr. Sanders told us that along with the Heritage Celebration, there was going to be a car show and so cars came to mind. Uh, I'm a car buff and so it all kind of fit together. My passion is art. <laughs> uh, kind of grew up with it and fascinated by other artists in, in the past uh, and the present and I want my future to be able to paint all my life. I had recruited several students and talked with other art teachers in the district to recruit some of their middle school students and so we've had uh, come and go today with students coming as they needed to and leaving when they needed to and everyone I think has had a good time. Working on a larger scale portrait than a smaller scale portrait like I'm used to, I just learned to break it down and do it one by one. One section of the car, front bumper, doors, back bumper, and then I just worked my way up from there. We've painted uh, quite a few of our cars. We're just finishing up, putting the finishing touches on them, and uh, I think it's gonna be great. Painting on a large scale is always fun to me. It's always uh, fun to have a large scale to move around and to uh, basically just get to express yourself in, on a larger scale, basically. Well, some of them are learning some new things and some of them uh, are using some of the things that they've learned in class. One is to see the light, see the light in the dark, uh, how to make the shadows appear uh, realistic, and how to do things like paint chrome, make it look like chrome, which is all reflection anyway. I found out if to, how to blend in the colors more, make it look like it's not just brush strokes on it. Uh, I mostly just put the colors on there and just use my finger. <laughs> I have learned by uh, being taught by these two great art teachers, Mrs. Sanders and Mr. Pruitt, is that I, I can use art in my daily lifestyle. Maybe um, I want to be an engineer or a car designer. My biggest inspiration has been Mr. Sanders and Mr. Pruitt for teaching me uh, strategies on how to paint and draw. And I loved their classes a lot and it was fun. I could express myself into a canvas or a drawing, a painting. It's like you're putting what you're feeling into your media your, or your canvas or paper. I just love practicing uh, with these two great art teachers. I, I enjoy working with them. They're great people. Everything we know, everything we learn from books, we learn from the images in the books. History is full of art. Our history books are all art. I often ask my students, how many of you have ever seen a photograph of George Washington? Half the class will raise their hand. They've never seen a photograph of George Washington. I explained to them that the camera wasn't invented yet. Everything they're looking at was paintings. It was art. And then we go into discussions about what is art and what is not art. Where is art used? Because I have students occasionally that'll come in and say, well, I'll never use art. And then we start talking about what do you want to be when you grow up? And I guarantee 
Everything you do has art related to it.